late, I'm late. I screwed up. <laughs> but I'm here. A to Z on her. Baby. Another ditto. This one, much more understandable. On her is... You know, pretty meta right now. Or, you know, he's always been <laughs> meta, but he's extremely meta right now. And the fact that he's probably one of the strongest ADCs. Probably about the third strongest ADC after Uller and AMC. Oh, no. You got Scotty, too. So, maybe fourth. Ow. I think I'd be taking all those. So, I'm starting out with this uh, with this build, the Spike Gauntlet start. I think it's very uh, very powerful to get your Devos go uh, going as soon as possible. And I've learned through a lot of trial and error that... Uh, the ADCs can go without a chalice because they're going to be going into it as I steal. Alright, great start for us so far. Oops, ah, still a cube, so sorry. Okay, nice shell. We hit almost all those. Oh man, so close. Beware the shifting sand. Oh, almost hit him with the cheap shot, but not quite. He started going the way that I wanted to, and then he uh, doubled back or doubled back. I would say double backed. That's not right. This is always annoying though when they back first, because now he gets the red buff, even though I'm the one that was in the you know position of advantage. They should fear me now. So from here, you can really decide to go full boots um, or straight into the rest of the uh, the Devo Gloves. But I think you'll probably uh, be better off getting finishing the Devo Gloves because you've already invested in them, whereas he has spare gold. So you might be hindering yourself. The, uh, Beware the shifting oh, sand. Yeah, he has no ult. This way, at least, we'll get both red buffs or both blue buffs because we were able to push him out. Hopefully. Oh, you son of a bitch. Who comes back that way? He must have heard my jump or seen me move on the map. Oh, that's so infuriating. I hate that shit. I always say losing the buffs is so much more uh, frustrating than dying. He might even get my blue. If he gets my blue, we're completely fucked. Beware the shifting sands. Jesus, this does not look good. I didn't expect this. Um, you know, we started out really strong, and I'm very confident in my on her, especially in the mirror match. So, good, good that we have a good match going for us. They should fear me now. Let's see if we can come back from this. A yeah, good positional awareness uh, from him to recognize that I'd be going for the. I thought that he was, you know, somebody that I can just. Uh, Underestimate there and uh, definitely paid for it, so good on him. Oh. We executed that perfectly, but again, the shell saves. Not stacking. Trying to get him to jump, but he just won't do it. Son of a bitch. Beware the shifting sands. With rushing the curse gauntlet, you don't have as much clear as you would if you went in boots. They should fear me now. 
So I don't know, maybe I will go um, Curse Gauntlet start and then go full boots. Doesn't feel as good to me to not have that clear or as much of uh, commanding presence in terms of early power. He only has flat border right now, but at the start of most seasons, it's been weird, the borders. Like, you start out with a really low border before you get to go higher. Or at least the start of the recent seasons have been like that. Beware the shifting sand. Okay, we get this red buff. Hopefully. She's gonna come back for it. First blood. Nice. <laughs> Thank God. Couldn't locate him at first. It's like, where the fuck is he? We finally got a hold of him and uh, and held on to it. I like how we we <laughs> upgraded our blessing with that kill. Because I think on killing an enemy, you do get more stacks than you do from killing a, a minion, right? Know if it says it anymore. Nah, it hmm. Oh yeah, items. All right, so we'll go to taxi boots. Now. And we'll get. Go back past it. Oh yeah, I already have it. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you get five stacks for a god. Nice. Yeah, so even though he has the plat border, I'm not. You know. All right, I'll be honest, maybe I was counting that as a flat border, but I have just now remembered that, yeah, last season I feel like I started with the flat border on, like, every one. Where, where oh, God. Time. What the fuck? I didn't think he had an angle through it. Oh, this guy is really grinding my gears. He's gonna get it. Beware the shifting sand. Beware the shifting sand. Sand. Oh, Alright, so messy, messy as hell, but but we're, we're, we're in there, don't worry. <laughs> it's taking me a little while, sometimes it takes my on her a little while. And when he gets into his rare form, he's got this. The most important thing to remember in an on her ditto is that jump trumps the, dr the jump of your, your enemy. So if they jump first, you your jump beats theirs. But they counter your jump that was meant to counter their jump if they ult. So always be mindful not to jump on on her while he has his ult. And not to reverse jump their jump if they have ult. It's, I'm, I know it sounds overly complex and convoluted, but it, it's really true. Just, no matter what you do, try to make sure that if they have ult, you're not the, the one jumping. Whether you're responding to their jump, or you are um, the one initiating with the jump. Man, nah, I gotta pause. Does not happen often in YouTube games, at least. That's lucky. He's trying, he's re recollecting right here. He's like, when, can I, when should I jump? Should I jump when he jumps my jump, or jump when I jump to initiate so that I can counter jump his jump? He figured it out, and it's time to go. Yeah, my autos are definitely a little bit off today. Tonight. It's late. I blame that. But despite it taking an early uh, deficit, Beware we are up We're side. not up much in gold or experience compared to where we should be with our... Uh, KDA. You're up too well, usually expect to be up a little bit more than this, but ah, I thought you could go back there. Beware the ship okay, inside. Just trying to threaten him. Try to lifesteal up here. We have a full gauntlet, so look at that shit. 
See, this is why you don't need the chalice on the hunters, and it's okay to forego it. Beware, beware the shifting sands. The sands are in the middle of the enemy tower. Wow. If I followed through with the last one, I might have actually killed them. I kind of moved away before the final, the seventh uh, hit of his ultimate came out, thinking that I had already finished the ult. But then again, it might not have had a little bit of help left with that shell. They should fear me now. Yeah, going straight into the executioner here. Build is largely the same as the last season, as you can tell, for the hunters. But with, you know, just a variation on the start. Because of the gold cost of these items versus the death toll. Now, the interesting thing is going to be when Devo Gloves gets a 200 gold increase to start. Because then rushing Devo is probably won't be nearly as good as going Boots. So. In that position now, starting this upcoming week, I think you should actually just go to Evolve Hunter's Blessing, uh, Tier 1 Devo, and then go into Full Boots. <laughs> and it'll just be a rush to try to get the Boots plus Devo up first. But during that first little segment, you might not have Boots as quickly as they do because you can use the money on the Devo that they have. So yeah, it's kind of awkward. But I know that you probably shouldn't be rushing Devo without boots anymore. After that 200 gold uh, increase, that's going to be too long of a time period that you won't be able to uh, contend with them. At least that's what I think. Beware the shifting sands. Get him through here. Hey! Beware the shifting <laughs> sands. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Hey. No. Surprised he didn't try to initiate there at all. He's probably scared because he overheard me talking about that whole jump situation. If they're low enough health, though, you should still definitely jump. They should fear then you can take now. the brunt of their, their old damage and still fight through. So it's all about assessing the situation. Mm -hmm. we'll go straight. Nah, you know, I'll go for uh, anti heal. Oh, always good to have the, the Toxic Blade. It's such a strong item. I honestly wonder if they're going to nerf it. wonder if it's that prevalent in uh, Conquest or not. But even if they do nerf it, it'll still probably be the go-to. Because no nerf will be major enough. No nerf that I imagine Hyra is doing. I mean, Hyra's nerfs are like 50 gold increase. <laughs> I hate when they do that. We nerf this item 50 gold increase. That's... Sure, for like a starter item, that, then it could be relevant. But or I have uh, the 10 damage off, the 10 power off of Deathbringer. Everybody's like Hyra. This item has far too much crit. It literally wins games for hunters by giving them the Be most quick chance they can possibly get all in one item surpassing rage which is in a stacking item they're like all right guys don't worry <laughs> we got the nerf coming in hot 10 power off deathbringer they did revert that which you didn't see which is good but still so funny that that's generally their approach they just don't want to i guess we're not cause too much uproar side. with, with changes. Maybe they don't want to set too much work out for themselves by having to fine tune things a little bit more. I'm not sure. But it's pretty fun at the end of the day. Alright, I <laughs> hit my own mark though. Ooh. That's the worst when you're sitting behind the pillar but you're still taking shots. Wow, he did so much damage, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go over to the Bull Demon, though. But he knows that. So we'll end up probably fighting him there. 
Okay, I am low. Embodiment does not give you much in terms of Wow, I pulled it away just in time that his two didn't hit it. Let's get the full. Crazy. I feel like Devo's stronger than ever somehow. But I guess he's not. I don't know what it is. It's just my lead right now. Might as well pick this up and back. We don't need to sell that yet. You don't really want to sell the starter items um, until you have the finished item ready. Because it's giving us a lot right now. That bonus damage for basic is nice. And then the um, the attack speed, of course. MP5, you don't really care too much about it anymore. Alright, so that thing's probably going to be pretty much gone by the time I get there. Just trying to hold the line up here. I had somebody call, uh, say that I was backdooring once by doing that. I took the bull demon, man. Beware the shifting sand. Shit, the pressure's on him. I will not be there so easily. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's dip. Sand. We don't want to. We don't wanna press our luck anymore. Pillar fights, man. Nope, still not. He's got the same build as me. Yeah, I didn't want to use thorns at the end because if you hit me, I was gonna die. Um, but yeah, had I used thorns in the early, it would have been different. I didn't think that that uh, initiation of this was going to end up, or was it my? I can't even remember how it started, but I didn't think that it was gonna be a full fledged fight, so I didn't end up wanting to use the thorns. I definitely have to a lot. Sometimes it's better to save it than uh, than to just bullet, and it, it kind of varies. Uh, it feels like he's gonna lock right now. Does he have anything over me? No, just the boots. Interesting. But now we're gonna surpass him. More fury for my spear. I guess he just had a lot of uh, XT stacks piled up. Yeah, if you get Bull Demon, it's definitely not backdoor. It's literally why it's there, so that you can end games earlier. Maybe he had red. He'd probably have red. I didn't pick up blue, because I want to see if red's going to be Yeah, I think he's got it. Yeah, okay. Mystery solved. Beware the shifting side. <laughs> Oh, okay. That red buff's really doing a lot for him. Yeah, We're on near even playing fields. What do you say to Dick? Not today. Just what I need. I would usually prioritize leveling shell over thorns, but in this scenario, uh, thorns is down, or sh shell is down for a very long time. Alright, 
I gotta straighten up for this next engagement, man. He's he's kicking my butt all of a sudden. Doesn't feel like I'm missing much, but he's just getting the jump on me. Not the literal jump, but you know. A lot of it is I'm trying to press into him. Like he's camping. Like you know, he's playing it back. Far. Now he's not going to anymore because he's got both even he's just confident. So maybe now we can playing field a little bit. Whoever is, um, you know, whoever is on the assault is always going to be at a disadvantage, unfortunately. Just how things like this work. Fighting games. But especially in a mirror when we both have the same abilities. Probably just been a little overzealous as well. Now with me having red buff, all this damage. just literally tore us apart. He might actually win. I will puke. Oh, man. Please don't let it be. I'll never let it go. Your middle Phoenix is under attack. Shit. He is gone for the end. No way, dude. Come on, no doing that damage. Oh, it's so much damage. Want to reset it? Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Alright, I'm not losing this. I refuse. Unfortunately, I didn't thorn support the ult, and one of those, um, you know, shitty things about being stuck in your ult like that is you can't thorns it. Or you can't thorns during it. So weird, he doesn't feel like he's doing like that much, but it's still I'm losing the engagement somehow. Shit, I don't have a pot. Uh oh. God, alright. Fabulous choice. Alright, let's do this. up. Beware of the ship yes. Alright. Well done, but we can't pick it up. I think Anubis is overrated right now, too. He's insanely strong, but he's not OP. Everybody's saying he's OP. Beware the ship shipping side. You just have to adjust how much crazy lifesteal he has. Beware the shipping side. Beware the shipping side. Uh oh. Beware the shipping side, my fury! Oh. 
Oh no! <laughs> uh, fuck! Fuck! You wow! I can't believe it. My on her loss, dude. It's well played. That was honestly played it well at the end there. There's nothing I could have done um, to prevent that that final death. You played it well. Oof! I can't believe that. Damn. Yeah. That, that, that pissed me off so much, dude. Playing so passive like that gets you the win every time, but you know, in the end, it was well played. Before that, it was super frustrating, and I was like, you know, banging my head against the wall, but that's, that's ABCs for you. That's how the dittos go, unfortunately.